So yeah, the final episode of the rebuilding Jurassic Park and Lego series um, come such a long way when we started in June, and we're we're finally here. Um, sorry, I didn't upload as much as I used to. Just you know, school lack of motivation. I really don't know why it was a lack of motivation. This is a pretty easy thing to do, uh, the way I, I am doing it currently. I should probably uh, try and do my editing a lot better, um, which would make it harder and longer, but it would definitely improve the video, and I think that's a worthy sacrifice. So yeah, um, sorry for basically being on such a long hiatus, and um, I hope I can make more videos now, but yeah. Enjoy the vid. Okay, so yeah, this is my uh, probably sixth time uh, redoing this. Yeah, uh, here we have, to start the review section, we have the minifigures. We have Ellie Sutler, Dr. Alan Grant, and John Hammond. Uh, for Ellie Sutler, it's basically the Triceratops research. I saw her, but cleaner claws and more shocked alternative expression. Um, look at the back of the head. It's a regular expression, which is basically exact same as this one. I think the smirks changed a little bit, I don't know. Seeing things. Yeah, it comes a lot of leafies, because, you know, she's studying the, uh, vegetarian, she's like, oh, this is from Jasper, you know, all that stuff, uh, before she sees the uh, Brachiosaurus. Yeah, we have, uh, Dr. Alan Grant, which is our only, uh, non-dirty, and, um, uh, Alan Dirty Alan Grant uh, in this wave. The only Grant, Alan Grant in this wave with the hat and his signature red scarf. Uh, he also had. I also gave him this more darker uh, Lost Doctor Claw because the one that came in the set was much more light, lighter, which isn't very accurate to the movie. And here we have John Hammond, which I think they uh, captured Richard Attenborough. I think the actor is surprisingly well. I, it's really good. Uh, rest in peace, of course. Um. Yeah, I think the hat's supposed to be white, and the staff is a bit too big, I think that should be a much more darker brown than the beige that they went with. Yeah, um, I think they should have just taken the pipe part one, and, uh, you know, the ball part at the end, probably, uh, of course, painted the orange, um, but, uh, you know, they really don't usually paint that much detail onto small pieces, only ever do that really in CMX, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, probably wouldn't have, yeah, so it's kind of a bit stretch to expect, you know, if they can do it for some that. Maybe you should expect it for the new lenses. These do cost a lot of money, so, you know, it should kind of be worth it. Uh, but yeah, um, other than my, uh, money, other than my, like, I'm going around here, a uh, pretty good figure. And also the... Only other John Hammond figure Lego's ever made. I mean, they made one other one in the gate set, and then they just never made one again. So I own the second rarest John Hammond. The second most expensive John Hammond in Bricklink. <laughs> Anyways, on to the vehicle. And here we have the Gigatrad versus... Um... I don't know. Yeah, um, we're just, obviously we're going to be compar comparing this set that came, this a vehicle, uh, Jeep Wrangler that came with this Brachiosaurus set, with this one that came in the Lophosaurus set. So obviously, if you wanted to get a cheap vert alternative to this one, you could get the Lophosaurus set, you get the same vehicle, but cheaper, which is definitely what I should have stuck with, and I bought this one, but we, whatever. Um, honestly, this one's much better improvement, but of course, this one's way better in terms of price. Got the more uh, blocky headlights, which is much more accurate uh, towards these more circular ones. Uh, it's got a bigger winch here. This one's got a much smaller one. And then these headlights at the front here are more flush. They look like they actually belong there. These ones are like blocks, which don't look like they actually belong there. Yeah, if we turn them to the sides, we can inspect the doors. Now this one's got a much bigger door, and actually looks like a door. Um, it's got these steps, which will lower down the vehicle. Not much space in there. I'm gonna lift my finger up a little bit. Um, and here, it's 
much bigger, of course. Still, I can lift my finger up a little bit, but if you, yeah, it's kind of high up the ground, of course. The doors are a bit small. Actually, Passover is sitting up. First half of mana, the front. Uh, still, why does ever? Sorry about that. And then, um, I didn't touch this on my Block Stars video. The wheels get too wide. See that they draw way too much. Uh, they could have definitely easily fixed that. Yeah. They did not. Which, you know, you gotta, gotta make do with what you got. Uh, for the back here. This is my Jayashi, which I don't know if it's more accurate or not. This one's more flush, which I do like. This one's definitely got the upper hand. I don't know if this one's more accurate or this one's more accurate. I don't know, but this one definitely looks better in terms of the back area. Except for the mud, of course, but of course it's meant to be reenacting a scene where the tube's massively muddy. Uh, of course, the clips here are much more flush, much more red, which I'm pretty sure they're meant to be. And this one's a bit grey, which makes them stand out a lot more. Uh, here, you have these roll cage, and this one you have this uh, weather top thing Um, Here you have these nice sand, sand green seats, which, of course, you gotta love. And uh, yeah, it's basically the vehicle. I'm pretty sure I might have missed a couple of things, of course, different set of lights. There's just so many differences between these two vehicles. Uh, I can't really uh, point them all out. It's not just a huge time waster, and you know. Um, everyone nowadays has an extremely short, um, tangent spawn, so, uh, onto the tree. So yeah, this is the main reason this set is 80 quid. Um, I also want to mention, I got this set in Smith's for a discount for 67 quid. Of course, not everyone's that lucky. I was very lucky with that one, but, you know, not everyone's lucky, so most people have to buy this for 80 quid, which is kind of unfortunate, and it's, and you can all blame it on this guy. This guy is the... I, I mean, I, I would punch it harder, but honestly, this cost me so much. See, seven quid is still expensive. It really is. And I don't want to break it just yet. Yeah, ignore my anger with this set. Uh, we have, this is kind of like a hybrid of all these different tree scenes. You can um, grab, grab, uh, uh, grab, of course, Dr. Angrant from the Visitor Center set and your Brachiosaurus that you got in this set. Create that scene where he's feeding Brachiosaurus, and of course, use Tim and Murphy, like Lex, Tim, Lex, and Murphy from the Visitor Center set with that. And you can re recreate the uh, Brachiosaurus encounter scene at the, near the Star movie. Of course, uh, down here we've got these Velociraptor eggs, which you can uh, recreate the scene where um, Dr. Angrant figures out the dinosaurs of Reading. And of course, with these, this beautiful Brachiosaurus enclosure marker, which is probably the best thing about this tree. Of course, it's still a good build, but definitely a huge money waster. Of course, here we have the Brachiosaurus uh, sign. I definitely should have done this for most of the dinosaurs. I really appreciate it, but this is kind of the sec, the only other uh, enclosure marker we have, other than the T-Rex one in the $100 2022 T-Rex breakout set. And finally, we have it. This is a huge victory for us LEGO Jurassic Park fans. I know there's not much out of you out there, but this is a huge victory for me. I've always wanted a actual um, updated modern LEGO um, long sauropod, and we finally have it. I'm actually almost in tears. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Honestly, I was kind of worried because when I saw so many videos covering this, this looked all blue, and I was like, oh, that's not accurate at all. Here and it doesn't look all blue and it's so perfect. Oh my god. I love it so much. I mean, arguably, it, it should be brown based on the scene. You know, uh, the Brachiosaurus that died in Fallen Kingdom, that's meant to be the same Brachiosaurus, was grey. So I'm pretty sure Jurassic World reckoned uh, the Brachies to be uh, grey. Yeah, oh my god. Of course, there's so many wrong things with this. Of, uh, there's a huge chunk here, which, like, of course. It allows for neck mobility. I'm so sorry about this, but I'm trying to get the T-Rex here. Uh, it's the same thing with the T-Rex, but it's a lot less noticeable. So they kind of should have done something more like that, but I don't know, maybe I don't know much about uh, Lego designing, so maybe they didn't really have, uh, weren't able to do that. Legs, of course, are all in one piece, kind of like, like a woolly mammoth, which is probably the most expensive uh, Lego 
uh, prehistoric animal I have a good. That is expensive as a set. I could have sold that and just bought this set. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, um, actually, no, this is 85 for that. I forgot. God, Lego. Wow. Anyways, um, yeah, finally we have it. No more using that old Dinosaur 2000 uh, Lego piece with the spindly things and the hollow roots and all that stuff. We finally have a Lego Brachiosaurus. This is this is amazing. This is a real. This is a day we should celebrate. I don't know how, but we should celebrate. So yeah, here it is. After a long time of waiting, it's finally paid off. Here's Lego Jurassic Park. Of course, there's a couple things I have to leave out because there's really nowhere to put them, such as this floss under here. Because I don't have the raptor paddock. Which you probably should make a picture. It's cute wrangler because there's really no space to put them with the Dilophosaurus. And visitor center Ellie Settler because there's no real scene. Uh, the putter. But yeah, it's finally done. Now, seriously, guys, thank you so much for staying with me for um, all this time. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well, and hopefully I can make more videos. Uh, see you next bit.